It's a big day for schools around the state. It's count day. It's count day two. It takes place each year, one in October, the second in February. With virtual learning, schools say the challenges of boosting attendance haven't disappeared. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham explains how one school is beating the odds. Today and for the next 10 days, schools are counting on kids to be in front of their computers or in class if that's offered in order for schools to get the resources they need. We have a huge uh, incentive where we have a grand prize. We will be giving out as a district 10 brand new gaming systems. PlayStation 5s and Xbox X's up for grabs in the Detroit Public School Community District. And what kid doesn't want one of those? Georgina Tate, principal at Man Learning Community, says her school is also offering other incentives designed to draw students to class for count day the next 10 days, which is crucial for schools to receive funding from the state. Um, we receive our funding for next school year based off of our FTE count, which is our count uh, during the count window, which begins today. The State Department of Education changed the funding formula during the pandemic. This academic year, schools will add 75 percent of last year's pupil count to 25 percent of this year's count to come up with enrollment totals. And there are two methods for counting students in person or remotely. Either teachers can communicate back and forth with students at least four times during the count period or during, quote, an activity in each of the scheduled courses on count day. Tate says virtual learning has been an adjustment, but she's anticipating the next 10 days will be a success. There's been different technology issues and things, but I have to say that I'm very proud of um, our staff and our students for um, enduring and getting through all of this, and we've been exceeding um, victoriously. Now for her school, Tate says parents who prefer their child receive in-person instruction, learning centers are opening up February 24th. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.